Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are seeing or hearing this message, I hope you are well. I'm Mayor Bridget Donald Newton, and on behalf of Council Members Ashton, Feinberg, Miles, and Pershela, I'd like to give you a brief update on what's going on in our city. Dr. Mark Landau, Rockville's Emergency Manager, has been working diligently with the Montgomery County Department of Health and Human Services to offer free COVID-19 testing pop-up sites right here in Rockville. Every other Friday, beginning October 30th at Lincoln Park Community Center from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on October 22nd at Rockville City Hall from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the lower parking lot. Appointments are not required, and because these are outdoor locations, they can be canceled due to weather and other unforeseen circumstances, so please check before you come. For a list of free pop-up testing sites in Rockville and Montgomery County, please go to mococovidtesting.org. And as if we don't already have enough going on, welcome to flu season. While getting the flu vaccination does not protect against COVID-19, flu shots have been shown to reduce the risk and severity of the flu. Montgomery County health officials are urging residents, especially our seniors and children, and those with compromised immune systems to get a flu vaccination. The county is offering flu clinics and we have a drive-in opportunity on Wednesday, October 28th at the Universities of Shady Grove in the Godelsky Drive parking garage. For times and how to register, go to montgomerycountymd.gov flu. The pandemic has wrecked havoc on people's finances and emotions. If you are behind on your rent because of the pandemic, the Montgomery County Department of Health and Human Services COVID-19 Rent Relief Program may be able to offer assistance. The program provides up to $4,000 to eligible households to cover back rent. For details on how to apply, please go to the county's coronavirus information website at montgomerycountymd.gov slash coronavirus. And if you find yourself with a little bit extra, be it food or finances or even time, check out the opportunities to contribute and share your blessings with our neighbors in need. For more information on donation opportunities, go to rockvillemd.gov and search donations. Click on the Donations and Sponsorship Programs link and then click on the icon that says Donate Online Today. The Rockville Senior Center continues to accept food donations for seniors in our community. You can drop off non-perishable food items at any time at the outdoor donation drop box at the Senior Center on Carnation Drive. For more information, call the Rockville Senior Center at 240 314-8800. This is the time of year when the city says thank you to those who've gone above and beyond in helping their neighbors. You can nominate a special family, friend, or neighbor who has performed a good deed or provided a service to the community that you feel deserves special recognition. We've extended the deadline for nominations for Rockville's Good Neighbor Award until November 9th, so you have a little more time to get your nomination in. Just go to rockvillemd.gov slash goodneighbor for more information on how to submit your nomination. I'm sure we can all use a break from the stress of this pandemic. With Halloween just around the corner, there are a host of events around our city for you and your family to safely enjoy. For a complete list, go to rockvillemd.gov and search Halloween Happenings. I am very excited to tell you about a new interesting event coming on November 1st. The MCPS building back parking lot on Hungerford Drive will transform into a drive-in movie theater at 7 p.m. as park and watch events shows the classic film Ghostbusters. I encourage you to take a break and enjoy a laugh. Admission is limited, so go to parkandwatchevents.com for more information, including how to purchase tickets and dinner deals. And finally, and to me most importantly, Election Day, Tuesday, November 3rd, is fast approaching, a mere two weeks from today. I grew up in a family where voting was required. My parents believed that if you didn't exercise your right and obligation to vote, you had no right and no excuse to complain about the way things were. Early voting begins on October 26th. There are several ways you can vote. The Maryland Board of Elections is making sure that you will be safe if you decide to vote in person. Lines may be long, so remember to pack your patience, wear your face covering, 
and remember to keep physical distance from others. You can find polling places by heading to elections.maryland.gov. You can also cast your ballot by mail, but do so quickly so it arrives in time. Or you can drop off your ballot at the election drop box located here at City Hall. So make your plan to vote today. It's your right and your opportunity to shape our country for the future you want. My friends, these are strange and challenging times. We only really know what our own worries are. So please remember to be kind, continue to wear your face covering, practice physical distancing when in public, and avoid large gatherings. Be safe, stay well, and keep smiling. We will get through this together.